Hey guys, it's Ken Do Studios here. Welcome you new to a tutorial video. Uh, one of many if you guys think this is great. And if you think you if you guys think this is great, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you're not lying, it'll turn blue. Uh, this one's uh, in reference to the FML FMML mod. And it even gives you a little hint of saying check description before subscribing. But I go on ahead and go ahead and subscribe because that gets the files on your system for Firefox Media. Yeah, the, some virus scanners will see this mod as Trojan. Be sure to scan it if you don't feel very comfortable. Uh, if you have a virus scanner, go ahead and get a virus scanner. That's going to be a separate tutorial. This is not going to be F F FMML related, so I won't even cover those. This where it's going to be. It's going to be at App Data. So if you want to see where this is, when you yes, it should be in your folder. So what I want you to do, guys, is go to your percent app data percent, and I uh, want you to go up one. You go to local low Lumera app s Pyrexmania mods.io mods. And it's got to be one of these numbered ones, it'll tell you. 1, 2, 3, 1. Alright, so uh, you're going to have to type those nine numbers in. So, 1, 2, 3, 1. There it is, F -F -F -M -M -L version 1.0. And I'll show you in applications and whether as controls and language files and a file as well. This is actually a file that you can open and once it's in your file you can I would recommend that you copy paste it as a shortcut so you don't have to keep coming to this. So uh, to do that I want you to copy control C go to the desktop and then paste shortcut and there it is um you need to definitely run it as administrator before you even get started so go ahead and show more option properties in order to do that go to compatibility and then in the settings you click this little check mark that says run this program as an administrator that is important this is definitely important to run this all right once you got all that set up you double click it and this little window will pop up I won't let it cycle because if it's just a kind of a five second waste, it will say that Fireworks Mania is currently not active. Now, if you hit Start Game and it doesn't start, that means you didn't put it as administrator. But if it does start from the mod loader, then you'll know that it works. So I'm going to go ahead and load Fireworks Mania. And when it's lo fully loaded, don't load the mod yet. You load it as soon as there's a main screen, like this one. This one's the main screen. You hit load mod, and all of a sudden the thing has disappeared. Don't worry, it's just minimized. Yep. And now we have some tools, hacks, about, controls, settings, hide. So we're going to go through each one of these, figure out which one each one does. And I will teach you the ways of the FFML mod. Okay, now that we're here in Virex Mania, we get to finally get to show off what these things actually do. Uh, first of all, I need to teach you about uh, a little bit about this. It is there are several uh, ideas on actually how this actually works and uh, yeah we have some new 10 inch reloadable angle racks I want to try these out I'm gonna put these right next to each other
And uh, I'm going to do it in order here. And there, there's a specific order. And I want you to figure out why I'm doing this in a specific order. That's still going to be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> I, I think I found a bug. Alright, so say you want to do the exact order that you just put it in, but you just don't remember. Here is the first tool, and it's going to be under fireworks related. Uh, sorry, I, I might have gone too fast. Under tools, fireworks related, fuse all fireworks, but I'm going to put them as slow. And boom, just like that, it connects all the fireworks that you just did. And see, this is how it looks. And see, a nice little fun show right there in the... That actually gave me an excuse to try out the new mod, and so far, besides the, uh, uh oh. Okay, so in case it doesn't do them all, because it, the, uh, I don't know. Oh, because it's already done. And they're just disappearing very slowly, that's, that's odd, okay. That was on me. So, say you have a ton of firecrackers. Say you, like, you want to put down like a ton of firecrackers and you know, you don't want to have to you know keep on clicking that's monotonous so what you can do here is you go to hacks you turn the inbuilt auto clicker on and you can change the button you can change it to still or physics I'm gonna use physics because you and then you press R and now you have an auto clicker. You have an auto clicker. Gonna make a nice long circle. Not that, that does anything. And this will be an excuse to try out fly mode. Alright, so if you want to see things from a better angle, you turn on space mode, press the space bar, you know, go way up in the air, press control to go down, and using what you learn, can you remember how to do the fuses? That's right, you can go back to fireworks related and fuse all fireworks. Now the more fireworks you have, the more uh, longer it's going to take to connect all of them. Look at that, it looks like a Christmas wreath, almost. And uh, you just set them off. Alright, so now we have flamethrower mode on. And uh, in order to figure out where to do flamethrowers, right, we have ignite flammable material. So, Hmm, unfortunately there's not enough, uh, flammable material out here to do it. <clears throat> so let's go over them. We have delete tool. Which is V, delete what you're looking at. And then ignite everything, which is K, or everything with specified delay L. <clears throat> then we have the physics tool. The lighter, the fuse tool, 
the clear tool, the time tool, and the eraser tool, and six buttons. You can even toggle fly mode by using the G button. Alright, so to, in order to properly demonstrate this, we're going to go to the range. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use Newtonify stuff as the last one. If I missed a tutorial that you want to see, you know, hit the like button and also comment in the section below so I can actually correct the video and make it an extra little extra tutorial about it. I don't think we need this anymore. I'm gonna check my stuff. Ghost pig. Hey! <clears throat> we did it! It's available, finally! Man, after about 24 hours, they figure out, yeah, it's good. Alright. So you know how certain things are flammable, right? I think what you do here is that you look at something that's flammable, hit C, and all of a sudden we have flammable trees. It's just as simple as that. If you if you wanted a little particle effect of burning trees, that's how you do it. Now, I have no idea what T does. Newtonify, I'm not sure what it does. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a cloning machine. I'm not sure what the cloning machine does, actually, to be fair. I haven't figured that out yet. Nobody has made a thing with that. Uh, place marker. You can, like, legitimately place a marker to where your fireworks are. And, uh, you know, just do big, uh, kind of, uh, displays. You can always come back to the main one. Like, say this is your, uh, main view here. You can place the marker here and not forget it. And then just make a long line of fireworks if you want to. That's how that's helpful. Um, other hacks. Uh, we have super speed. Uh... And super jump is kind of not needed because you already have uh, fly mode on. I would recommend you keep fly mode on though. Uh, super speed when the uh, when the nuke goes off and you accidentally set it off, you're like, oh crap, oh crap! You hit the shift and all of a sudden you're going down the highway at highway speeds. <laughs> Anyway, this was made by JJ Block twenty one, inspired by F Menu. Special also special thanks also go to KSSR, and uh, it was made twenty twenty two. All right, so there you go. I think that's about it for the FMML, or in other words, the Fireworks Mania Mod Loader. If you like this thing and you want to see more in the future, please smash that subscribe button in the face like a boss. And of course, have a nice day. I wish you and your household peace and many explosions. Bye!